the last build that I made on a move speed build, we had 114 movement speed. We didn't have that high of a power bonus either. We had like 20%. The thing is, is having 114 move speed, we sacrificed a lot of HP for it. We didn't get any gear that had max HP or vigor on it. We had about 113 HP without weapons out. With weapons, it was 120. And for the last couple of days, I've been building up these kits for stream. And I realized you can get a lot more HP with around 107 to 110% move speed and still a really good power bonus anywhere between 18 to 25. I have additional damage pendants today. I have this four additional three move speed and I also have uh, two additional here and one additional here. But yeah, so in this case, we're just gonna be using pendants that we already have here. So this is uh, four additional, three agi. You got some move speed, three agi, three max, two action speed, which never hurts. And that two additional, one additional, one move speed and uh, 13 luck. All this stuff here, I'm saving for stream. So we're not gonna be using this gear. We're gonna be just spending this uh, 6,800 gold on a fully new set. Let's go ahead and start with a uh, leather cap. You got one here for 400. You got uh, four vigor, two strength, and three fizz. Not seeing any other ones cheaper, so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this one. 400 gold, not bad. I would do the epic, but epics with additional are just crazy expensive. Like, check this out. Like, that's insane. You can find one like way cheaper. The extra stat is really never that good. I mean, you got that 1.5, three additional. You get that extra one strength there for the five strength over the four. You can live with a rare one. It's just all kind of like. You know, debuff, magical damage reduction. I would go for the rares. I could do this two additional here with three max HP. I think I'd rather take this over that three max HP. I think with these, I'm going to specify by max HP. Do five max one attributes. That was two attributes, I would take it. I'm feeling all attributes, but I know they're going to be pretty damn expensive. I could just do one attribute. Thousand gold. You know, I think I'm actually going to do pure HP. Because that's a lot of HP. And actually, let's do the same with the Lace Churn Shoe. See what we can pull off here. I'm gonna go epic on the Churn Shoes. I mean, like, look at this. Three Vigor, four Max HP. You also got that five Agi. Maybe that one. I think so. Yeah, this is looking sick. 132 HP. So already way more than last video. With 107 move speed, okay, well, we gotta put on a chest piece. Power bonus 13, not bad, not bad, because we can get that up way higher with uh, you know, the cloak chest piece, we can get it up higher with um, the weapons. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what kind of uh, adventure tunics we can do. I mean, I've been doing the copper light, but copper light only comes with this power and a one percenter. You can actually just do an adventurer tunic and you can just specify rare, and you can go ahead and do maybe all attribute. Because you know, maybe you can find uh, two all attributes. I mean, this already has three agi, that's 1%. So that kind of negates the minus five move speed a little. At the same time, that five fist power bonus is what attracted us to the first place to the copper light with that 1% move speed bonus. So let's see if we can find something similar. Like something like this would be insane. Three vigor, two attributes. You'd get some agility on those attributes. I'm not gonna spend 3,000. I actually might do this one. This is looking very, very good. Even though the move speed, we can just get an adventurer cloak and still stay at 107% um, move speed. This one looks really good. 3,800 gold left. So now we're at 105. But that's okay, because now our power bonus is higher and our HP is very good too. 142 HP. If we have 10 additional physical damage. That's not bad. If we want, we can focus purely on HP and move speed. 10 additional is good. Let's just focus on move speed and HP here. 146 HP, so we went from what? 142, we go to 146, could make or break you. I think, uh, what's next here? Okay, look, 146 HP. I think we should get this to at least like 150. I'm gonna try to find power bonus on the weapons and HP. At least an Epic Falchion. Get 8% for 1800 gold, it's a little too high for me right now. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but uh, definitely we have 18% right now. I think I'm gonna buy one of these. Or, I mean, the weapon damage is lower, but we do have a bunch of additional physical on our gear. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't normally buy uh, a, a, a 43 weapon damage falchion. Like, this, got, this has 5% physical damage when it's 3 fist power. And let's try to get some HP on the cast dagger. Maybe we can, I mean, I think cast daggers may be a little cheaper too. Hey, that's not bad. We don't have that two weapon damage. We got a four percenter. I'm down. 150 HP. Okay, 1500 gold left. Let's go ahead and get our windlass. This would definitely get rid of it. I mean, 9.5%, 60. 
uh, damage. That's a steal. You can get 7.8% with 38 damage. That almost gets rid of it. I think I'm gonna do this. Nice and cheap. And we're just right there. All right, let's do a check. 107% move speed without weapons. Uh, your damage reduction, 17, magic versus 10. This is expected if you're gonna get this high up in move speed. I mean, of course, maybe you can do a niche move speed build with physical damage reduction. But in general, if you're going this high up move speed, you're gonna have this amount of PDR, anywhere between 16 to 24. Depends on your build. But uh, magic resistance is always gonna be low unless you're doing a niche build with magic resistance. I'm sure you can get like a high move speed build with magic resistance, but other factors will lack, like maybe your HP or power bonus. 18% power bonus, plus eight, plus four. It's gonna be crazy. Let's go into the dungeon, check it out. Plenty of time. Move speed is still cool. Got 30 power bonus. That's actually very cool. Dude, that's crazy. Man, that's all that additional. 10 additional. Headshot. 135. Get your body shot. Do the headshot with the recurve. 83. 55. Oh, it's a direct headshot. Kobe! No shot, he's alive. Crew magic's always good. Little armor pen, all attributes. I feel like that would sell. Future magic, very good. Future magic's good. A Dex and Agi. Pretty sick. I think this is my first time getting my windlass shot back. Somebody's doing cape troll. Check and see if somebody's waiting. It should make a noise like Tarkov. Like even if you're moving the slow, you should be able to hear like, uh, maybe not footsteps, but maybe like little jingles or something. I don't know, like your bags jingling. You can hear like your clothes rubbing together. Because complete silence is just such a, I don't know, dude. It's not a good thing to have in, in an extraction game that's high stakes. Because it's such an easy way to kill someone, sneak up on somebody. Or after somebody kills someone, you can just sneak up on them. It's just way too easy to lose your gear to a creeper or a game that's this high stakes. It's just my opinion. <laughs> I could take a barb, I think. I need those. I need those. He's running. Loki kind of a GG if we hit him. Yeah, okay, we learn our lesson, run away, right? Recover. Because uh, there might be somebody lurking. That's so hard to loot a kill like that in the middle of the map. I was like, you never know who, who's watching from above. But I think you gotta kinda like leave it alone for a second. And I did drop that two true cloak. I think I'll go pick it up. He had a lot of AR. He did a physical damage reduction build. That's what he got from the troll. Get on those. That's insane, dude. That'll sell like crazy. That should sell too, but uh, I think we're good here. Pretty sick. I mean, that's very, very good. 
All right, so this is going to be the stowing station. We got this. Pretty sick. I'm not sure how much these go for, but that's Biss. This is really, really good. I know these can go for up to 1,000, even 1,500 gold. Got two true magic with move speed. Two decks, two agi. Almost max move speed loose trousers, which go for very high price. Got some AR rings. Uh, true magic ring and magic penetration ring. We also got this really good neck of peace. So already, man, we already made back. I would say we already made back like anywhere between three to 6,000 gold. So that's almost as much as we spent today. I mean, minus the rings and then that uh, we already had on stock. Well, I know for sure that bard is going to be doing uh, cape troll. So we'll try to get him. Every bard I've seen, aim, they always do cape troll. Oh, he left this door open. In case someone comes through the main door. That's smart. Hey, always run the hell away. I'm just gonna leave the body there. Nope, it's still here. Three strength, I'm good on those. I think I'm good on both of these. That's what I'm saying. You either learn cave troll, do cave troll, or you get sniped to doing cave troll. I'd rather just snipe, but I don't know. Ain't nobody got time to learn cave troll. Okay, I mean, I could learn cave troll if I really wanted to. But what's the point? And just snipe people. The only thing is, I wish there's a potion of invisibility somewhere around here. SDF, you with me? Not. Potion of invisibility be helpful. Don't know who could come down. Someone's coming. stock armor, but I need bolts. All right, not bad. Mostly blues, some purples. Let's see if it's open now. Nope. Don't see anyone. It was on this guy. Not bad. Free magic power. All we got from that was uh, the bear pendant. Oh, in terms of gear, the bear pendant and the uh, ring of quickness. Look at this. Additional physical damage, there's additional physical. Got one true. Additional, pretty bad uh, ring of courage. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool lock pendant. Got some uh, magic resistance and AR. Pretty niche.
Dude, somebody just assassinated this guy. I think we got him. This is the guy. Oh, that was Stinkman Jones, no shot. All attributes, pretty sick. Pretty dope. Damn, look at that. That's sick. And let's see. I think the max HP actually. Remove speed. Very, very good. In the thousands. That's, I think, three additionals in the thousands. That is uh, max move speed for a dexterity boots. Very good. Got two attributes and max HP. Pretty sick. Three additional magic damage and action speed. Very solid. Three fist power, two true. Very, very good leather gloves. Two additional weapon damage and HP. Rondell Dagger. Got uh, three additional physical damage. This, uh, dude, we have, we're, we just made thousands of gold. Additional physical damage. Got one all attributes. Yeah, two max armor penetration, three strength, and you got this pendant. Kind of mid. this HP? No, we would have been dead. The 113, 114% move speed build? Yeah, this wouldn't have lasted. Definitely 107, 108% move speed with high HP is worth it. Holy hell. And I thought that dude was a Slayer fighter. Too true.
I don't know how that dude did not hear me come through the door. The hell is this? Bug shell? I don't know what the hell that is. Cool. How's that? Rolls <laughs> wood. Got a bunch of treasure. Let me take the treasure. I'll take the treasure of the tunic. Can't drop it here for some reason. So weird. Can drop it there. shell wow uh, you got two true I think I'm good I'll just save this kit for stream I think we got enough games in HP is needed because there's no way we'd have survived that barbarian fight that's for damn sure we didn't have this much HP all right so we made a crazy amount of gold here off of that kit we got a bunch of true gear you know, you got three true and move speed. Three additional. Hour and true. Additional magic. Like, all this gear is really, really good. This kit has treated us pretty well. Although, this thing is kind of creeping me out. I wish I can get rid of it. If you're going to be doing a move speed Slayer Fighter build, I think stacking some HP is worth it. You guys saw my last video, the 114 HP one. That was just way too low HP. There's no way we could have survived the, the Barbarian fight. So, this build is high HP, high power and high move speed. I think 107 to 109 move speed is enough. That's all you need. You don't really need to push it past that. So sacrifice a little move speed. If you're at 114, sacrifice a little to go ahead and get your HP up and your power up. Insanely awesome build. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's always a pleasure. We'll see you guys either on stream or in the next video. Stream very soon. So we'll see you then.